Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we're going to look at a really easy tip for using Google. Now most of the time if you are looking for pictures you will go to Google images and you will search for images based on keywords that you give Google. But what happens if you want to do something the other way around? What happens if you've got a picture and you want to find information about that picture? Maybe where it comes from or you want to try to identify what the picture is about. So we want to find a way where we can search on a picture and we've got that feature available to us if we click on this little icon there where we search by an image. So we're going to give Google an image and try to find information about that image. The other, I've got a random flag. Let's say I've got this last little picture and I want to find out what flag is this. Is this a country's flag? Is this an organization's flag? I want to find out information about this particular flag. Let's go see if we can search on this picture. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on search by image and it allows me to paste a link if the image is in a web page. Then I can just use the link. That'll be easy. Or I can simply upload a file or drag the file in here. I'm going to upload the file quickly. So it's busy uploading the file. And there we go. It was able to identify similar pictures that look like that. And as you can see, this is obviously the flag for the Marshall Islands, which is a country. And you can see all the other flags that are similar. So it's definitely the correct flag. So if I click on that, it will tell me information about this particular flag and the country and so on. So there I can find information about that flag. Now you'll notice there's options here to text and translate. So let's try to test this out if we give it text. It's got nothing related to an image. I'm going to create a random image and see if we can find information based on the text. So I've got this random quote, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. I don't know where it comes from. I made this image. So this image doesn't actually exist anywhere, but I want to see if I can extract that text and find information based on the text. So I'm going to come here to Google Images. I'm going to search on that image. I'm going to upload the file. And there we go. I was able to find similar images with similar text. And we can see this is a quote by Oscar Wilde, but I can search on the particular text if I want and then select all the text. And there you can see there are images and it's found information about where that quote comes from. It comes from Oscar Wilde. So there we go. So that's a quick way to use Google Images or actually the search by image option to find information where you've got the picture, but you want to find information on the picture. So there we go. Don't forget to support the channel by clicking on that subscribe button and make sure that you tell your other teacher friends about Mr. Long Teacher Tips. Tell them to subscribe too. And don't forget us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.